Family, family, what's up? It's your favorite night tuner, Uncle Tendencies, and I am here with just a quick recap of day two of this SEC tournament. And I, I'll be honest, y'all, listen. Cool, it was some snoozers today. It was some snoozers today. I was glad that <clears throat> I had some folks on the live to help help keep me up while those games was on. It, it was some real snoozers. It was some disappointments. So we started off today with Texas A&M versus Mississippi State. Texas A&M uh, really jumped on Mississippi State right from the beginning, and it was kind of just uh, like what, what hit them. I, I didn't expect that out of Texas A&M. I expected a closer game. I almost I, – I really thought – uh, Mississippi State was going to be able to pull that out. I, I don't know what happened to them. Uh, it was like they never got going. So that was a 72-56 uh, uh, beatdown, kind of, really. Um, j just a beatdown. Mississippi State di didn't put up much of a fight. Uh, when you look at when you look at Texas, they were led by uh, Kulabali, had 17-4-3. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Barker had 15-9-1. And uh India Rogers uh was 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 back in effect with uh 12, 12, two, 12, two and one. Um and again, they, they kind of just jumped on on uh Mississippi State from the beginning. Uh, you know, they had about a five point lead at the end of one. Mississippi State kind of they outscored them in the second, trying to kind of kind of kind of push it back, pull it back. Uh but the third quarter, uh Texas A and really just kinda 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 put a put a put it to them. You know, they they they, they put up twenty six. A real low scoring game. Uh you know, Mississippi State had a had a nine point quarter, a fourteen point quarter, twelve point quarter. Uh, then they had kind of got warmed up by the fourth quarter. It was too little too late then. You know, they actually play, played Texas AM to a tie uh in the fourth quarter when you just look at uh, you know, quarter by quarter, but um really just 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 a beat down. Uh Mississippi State leaders, uh Jessica Carter, twelve, eight and two. Uh, Ja'Kayla Jordan, 9-5-3. And, and then Darion Rodgers, 12-5-3. Um, <clears throat> just, just uh, they never really got started. And you you could tell, uh, unfortunate for Mississippi State on their way back home. Uh, Texas A&M on their way to see South Carolina. We'll see y'all at noon. Uh, let's go, Gamecocks. Uh, game two of the day at U University of Kentucky in Tennessee. Uh, again, another one of those kind of weird, low-scoring low games. Kind of a snoozer. Um... Tennessee pulled away, uh, you know, late in the third and on into the fourth. But um, the thing I guess that was most surprising about this game is that it seemed like Rakia Jackson never really got going. So uh, for Tennessee, it wasn't so much about Rakia Jackson today as much as it was about Sarah Puckett. Uh, she was hot from three, 22, eight and three. Uh, Tess Darby gave you 10 and 10. Rakia gave you eight and nine. Uh, Powell gave you eight and four. Um, Holly's head gave you seven and two, so really kind of spread the wealth. Uh, it was really a team effort. Uh, Rakia got some of the help that that I hadn't seen her get before. Um, they really uh, carried carried the team. Sarah Puckett carried the team today. That forward <coughs> uh, really shot shot the lights out uh, for for them to get that win. Kentucky looked like a different team. Like yesterday, I said, y'all, they, they it's funny that they look different when they playing against each other versus when they playing against South Carolina. So Kentucky yesterday, I thought looked. Looked really good. Uh, it was unfortunate that they had. I don't want to get get the get the ladies. Uh, uh, let me not mess her name up. Uh, who am I? Who am I thinking about, y'all? Anaya Russell. Anaya Russell. Yes, eleven and six. Asia Petty. Uh, twelve and eleven. I like her game. I really like her game. Um, just not enough help. Just not enough help for Kentucky today. Um, and then of course Maddie Sheriff still didn't play. Uh, that was a blow for them. So. Um, unfortunately, uh, they just didn't have enough firepower for Tennessee. Um, and luckily for Tennessee, uh, they didn't have to re rely on Rakia Jackson today because this thing could have went different because uh, she had some quick fouls and then it just seemed to throw a rhythm off. Uh, she just seemed uh, out of sorts all game. So I don't, you know, I don't, I don't think it was any big deal. I think she'll be ready tomorrow. Um, but yeah, uh, today it was, a, it was the Sarah Puckett show, uh, in Tennessee versus Kentucky. In the evening games, uh, Another snoozer, uh, Auburn, Auburn, Arkansas, Arkansas really didn't have a chance. You know, Talia Scott didn't, didn't, didn't play. Um, and then we had, oh, I think it was a, another forward. I, I don't want to mess her name up. I believe that, 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 that was out. Uh, 
So they just didn't have the firepower they ex they they expected. Uh, they put up a good fight, but but just not enough. You know, Michaela Daniels gave you thirteen and six. Jenna Lawrence gave you thirteen and six. Uh, Samar Spencer gave you thirteen and five. And then you know, from the rest of the team, it was a six, a one, a two, and then two goose eggs. So just not enough, not enough uh, offense uh, for them to really to for them to really match with with Auburn. Um, Auburn Auburn looks like. You know, uh, they meant business today. Uh, Mingo Young went 11-8-8. Eight, eight. Uh, she, she she gave work. Sydney Shaw, 11-2-2. Two two. Uh, Marshawn Bostick, 11-2-3. Uh, and then uh, Caitlin Duhon with 9-3. Uh, uh, probably were the biggest contributors. They, uh, again, low-scoring quarters, low-scoring game. Really, the fourth quarter is kind of where Auburn, Auburn uh, really kind of pulled away. Uh, you know, because for the most part, they were, you know, 14, 13, 14. Arkansas had an eight-point quarter. You just can't have an eight-point quarter in the tourney. Uh, you, you, got, you know, you need everything to be in double digits. Kind of like, you know, an eight, eight-point quarter, that's kind of like leaving an open frame in bowling. You can't, can't do that. Uh, not, not, not in the SEC especially. Um, the, the competition is just too good, and it levels up when you get to the tournament. So, unfortunately for them, they just really were shorthanded. Uh, but... You know we'll we'll see what we'll 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 see what happens with uh with uh Auburn, but uh Arkansas had to send them to the tree. And the last game of the night, wow, they saved the best for last, didn't they? This was the game. This is what the games were supposed to be looking like all day today. I thought I, I just knew that day two was gonna be the one to just really get the tournament going, but it was hard to stay up for most of those games. But this last one here, uh, Florida Vanderbilt, uh, Vanderbilt tried. Vanderbilt tried to come back and get them one, uh, but they just it, it was a little too bit too little too late for them. Um, just just too little too late for them. They had they had a great fourth quarter, but they they couldn't pull it off. <coughs> uh, you know, losing by three. When I'm looking at Florida, wow, Aliyah Matharu dropped thirty five and eight, thirty five and eight. Um, I don't want to mess up her name. Bro Broughton ten five and two. Uh, Leilani Correa, really, I was, I was looking forward to seeing her play, especially after what I saw yesterday, I was expecting a big game out of her, uh, really very quiet, but again, not needed because it was the Leah Matharu show, um, and she put one on 35 and eight, um, you know, for the most part of the game, pretty, pretty much was outscoring Vanderbilt by, by herself, uh, but Vanderbilt then, like I, I, like I said, tried to put on a, on a, on a fight, um, they were led by, uh, Ayanna Moore with 22 and four. Um and Camille Pierre, 16 and 15, and Sasha Washington with a 10, 11, and 5. Uh really tried to make a real push at the end. Um and, and, and almost did it, almost did it, just you know, just ran out of time. But uh Florida moves on and we'll be moving into day three. And that's the day I'm looking for. This, this is the day I've been waiting on. I told y'all they poked that bear. We didn't get them awards. I I, I want to see us come out and, and, and get the work. So we got Texas AM coming in with South Carolina at noontime. I will be live. SS Talk Sports, come on and jump in the chat. Let's talk about it. I'm gonna stick around after that for Alabama, Tennessee. Uh, then we'll take a short, we'll take a we'll take an afternoon break, and then we'll be back for LSU, Arkansas. I'm still making my mind up about Ole Miss uh, in Florida, but we'll see. We'll see. But definitely, uh, Gamecock, Gamecocks, let's go, Gamecocks fam. Uh, let let let's come on out and, and, and bring that plies energy. Get them crockpots out. Let's get them crockpots out. The revenge tour begins now. Let's go. Come on, come on, hang out with us in the chat. Appreciate all of the support, all of the support that everybody has been giving uh, me and Coach Rowe. Really, uh, really appreciate the love. We are still on our push to a thousand new subscribers on the channel. So, you know, hit that, hit that subscribe, ring that notification bell so you stay in the conversation. Like the video, share the video so that we can grow the conversation and the community. Um, it's all about women's basketball, y'all, and we, we talking women's basketball, and we talking SEC tournament tomorrow, so come on and hang out with us. It's your favorite auntie with Uncle Tennessee saying, until next time, stay tuned, talk soon. I'm out.